Hello, prim friends. Well, I am in one of our, or the most favorite video so far that we've done. I met Meander Hill. The address here is 20 North Turner Street, uh, Youngstown, Ohio. And this is just an absolutely gorgeous shop with beautiful pieces of furniture and accessories that are all just so much of our early American primitive farmhouse cottage style feel. You know, those, those um, furniture designs all sort of blend and go together and it's kind of the accessories and the colors and the background colors that kind of make it one or another more so but they all they all just sort of go together and it's all dependent upon our individual way of putting things together that's what makes this style in my humble opinion so amazing because our homes and where we're decorating like this is our own work of art as we collect all of these pieces one at a time or several at a time putting them together creates this vision of our own home and comfort and the fun thing is that you can change and upgrade and update as you find more pieces sometimes these pieces come from all over the country sometimes they're inherited pieces and gifts and pieces that you have found in antique shows and thrifting that's just what makes it all so much fun I really like that pattern that's a beautiful wingback chair really really pretty now I know when I was here before Evan told me that they do ship and not only smalls they do ship the big furniture pieces so I will make sure that the phone number is on the screen and in the description as well so if you see something that catches your eye and you have the perfect place for it we'll make sure that uh, you're able to get that to your home as well. I just love the building that we're in here. This shop is in a very large old barn that's all been rebuilt and it just feels so sturdy and yet it has that wonderful old backdrop. I love the grain painting on that table. Hand decorated work by Dan Dan Coble. Lovely. And that one's on sale. Beautiful corner cupboard with the blue and white. A very large wooden bowl up at the top. They do sell these beautiful pieces of upholstered furniture and you can order in your, um, you know, in these lovely fabrics, but they do have a local um, upholstery person as well. So if there's something that you need to have redone, that is a possibility as well. They have the fabric here and they can ship the fabric to you as well. So pretty. This is such a neat room with that interesting uh, diamond design in the windows. This is a beautiful part of the building you can see from outside. It's just so, so charming. Look at this neat candle with the three wicks. I, I kind of did a double take. It looked like it was a real candle and I thought, well, surely that's not a real candle sitting there. Beautiful painted, uh, hand painted pieces, the step back cupboard, a 
from this Kathy Grable hanging wall cabinet. That beautiful fractor bird. Such neat pieces. Such warm colors. Here's another lovely piece. Another Kathy Grable, a one door cabinet. Really pretty. There's a gorgeous grain painted drop leaf table. And you see this just stunning brick floor. Just the perfect backdrop to these gorgeous furnishings and accessories. Very nice. The set T from Riverbend Chairs. And this may be the story here of the barn before and after Meander Hill. Yes. 1959. What an amazing accomplishment what they've done here. This shop does have a lot of lighting fixtures as well. You'll see that here soon. Here are all these beautiful, beautiful tin pieces, artisan made. Some for candles and some electrified. It's such a nice addition in our style of homes. I don't think people often realize until after they've done it just how much having the correct lighting for this style does to have your home kind of have that correct feeling, that complete feeling. That changing out the light fixtures, whether they're the ceiling lights or lights over a vanity, just how much that really has a huge impact in how your home design looks. Look at all these beautiful pieces of redware. I love it. All these artisan made pieces. That's a Turtle Creek pottery piece. There's several other, other artisans as well. Look at this. I'm just noticing maybe here for the first time, look at this beautiful built-in cupboard. Is that just amazing here? How perfect. I'm noticing here too these baskets that are hanging. They do have a lot of the the spring looking pieces now here for the for the next season. The last time we were here it was for Christmas. And I'm really liking this basket to perhaps hang on um, on our side entry door. I have some red geraniums that I'd gotten here one time on one of my visits that those would be neat placed in here's a little section of a of a sale table even get the the sheep in the field with the red barn in the back and here's another piece wall sign an apple orchard by Kathy Grable neat I don't know if you caught our the short that I just put up. We had the trusses delivered for our barn. And I know I've asked in one of the other videos, what color? What color should we be doing that? Well, we most definitely had made our decision. So you'll have to keep watching and see. You can comment down below if you've figured out maybe what that color 
what the barn color is going to be our house. The cape on the corner is white. Lots of the candle rings. This is, oh, what do they call that? I know it. Oh, the lamb's ears. Here's some of the Irvin's tinware wall sconces with the wood back. We have those, not that exactly, but the Irvin's. A lot of that lighting is what we used um, in our Cape Cod over the bathrooms and some of the sconces in the hallways. So I'm sure if you've built recently or in the last several years, in our area, at least in Ohio, you have to, um, you have to have either a switch that turns a socket on um, or you have to have a ceiling light in all of the rooms. Well, I didn't really want to have a ceiling light in the bedrooms. So we did a, a wall sconce. So every room that you walk in has a wall sconce just outside of the room and also just inside the room. So that was just a kind of a different way of getting around that requirement. Um, and it works, it works great. As you walk in the room, you want to see, flip that little switch and the, the nice little early looking wall scouts turns on. Love all of these. There's just oh, the artificial hydrangeas. There's the green ones, candles, lots of the flicker candles. Just really neat pieces everywhere. And then here are these beautiful lamps, Westervald pottery, and those have actually a green design on them. I'm not sure that's what I'm seeing. Yes, because here these are blue. Love the baskets. You know, I'm looking for something very similar to these. Maybe these will be it. I want to pot up a bunch of big pots of pansies and I like that look when they are potted up in the in the basket that's very natural on the outside those are neat I don't know if those are okay for outside or not but you know maybe if they just last for one season that's that's okay too Lots of candles. We'll go on upstairs as well. So this location where I'm at right now, Meander Hill, is only about 15 minutes or so from the location of the Hudson Antique Show, which it, it does still carry that name, but now the Hudson Antique Show is actually held in Canfield, Ohio. So by the time you are seeing this video, I will put this one up on Sunday, but I have been here in town to also video for the Hudson Antique Show. So I'll make sure that in the, um, on the community page. So if you hit subscribe, you can, there are some messages and some ways that I can um, give you information that you may not see in other places. So that's another really good reason to go ahead and hit that subscribe button here with YouTube. And then there's a little spot where you can hit a bell. If you hit that bell, it will notify you when we have uploaded a new video. But in doing all of that, you can also get notifications that there's like a little community page and I will be able to say, hey, I'm going to be at this show or I'm going to be doing this or this show is going on. So there are a lot of them coming up now. Ohio is a wonderful place for a lot of these antique shows. Um, Hudson now, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I think it's Saturday and Sunday. And then we have, of course, the Gathered Treasures coming up in April. 
earlier times and simple goods also coming up then a couple weeks later in April just all kinds of fun wonderful shows coming up here in our Ohio area so here we're more in the area where you'll see all of these amazing beautiful tin and wooden light fixtures and if you're not able to do it yourself they're not it's not that hard to um, it shouldn't be that much of an expense to have someone come in and hang it in if you have um, a light already in an area I'm not sure it's a first-time project for a do-it-yourselfer but It's not, um, it's not an impossible task. Now, if you don't already have a light fixture in that area, yeah, now you're talking about something you definitely need an electrician for. I love these baskets here on the windows of the step back cabinet. Look at all that blue decorative pottery in there. And then the beescapes. This is so pretty. This little basket. Look how cute. It looks like one of the early um, chocolate molds in there with that little bit of lamb's ear. Very sweet. My goodness. I don't think that's for sale, but isn't that an amazing dry sink? I don't think I've ever seen one that large before. I love the shutters on the windows, the raised panel. Oh my goodness. Don't think I've noticed that before. And these, if you do not have a green thumb, that's okay. Because these wonderful little herb looking pots, I don't think they would ever get brown. So you can bring them out for the springtime and put them away again for the next season. They just look so cute on the windowsills. Another really sweet basket. That one's round all the way around. But yes, they do ship, so keep that in mind as you are watching all these beautiful redware pieces. Winter Woods. Love the quilled deers. Bless America. Just such wonderful early American style. The way it was done then, but using current artisans. So creative, so talented. And the nice lamps, big bottles, and then these beautiful candles with the the flicker. They just look so real, and you don't have that that risk associated with your seven-inch candles with the flickers, and those. Some of them are with remotes. Oh, goodness, look how real this looks. Set of three pillar candles with a remote. New candles are getting really, the real ones also getting really quite expensive. And these. You just change out the battery. This artwork with the whales and the ships. That's really a pretty piece. My eyes are still not. <laughs> I'm trying to see the mark on the bottom and 
after my surgery I'm still not not quite there we'll see how long these bruises last all those wonderful light bulbs all in one place if you're looking for something like that there they are more of those wonderful chandeliers there's a winder an antique piece oh sold more light fixtures and more art beautiful lidded jar in the redware just such a warm and cozy shop when you walk in the door more of the sweet bunnies ready for the spring season and there's another one with that little bit of yellow there pop of color and if you do already have some of these early light fixtures these little rings change the season such a nice look these beautiful beautiful painted boxes that Kathy Grable does such a nice job there's another one of those flat baskets Oh, look at that little miniature, miniature cupboard by Ken James. Oh, my goodness. You do have to watch a little bit. Now, I'm a lefty, so I have always been known to be a little bit clumsy. Well, maybe more than a little bit. But you do want to watch. You sometimes can be so enamored by what you're seeing, but you do want to watch your step here as you are in an old barn. Look at that beautiful old fireplace. And Kathy had done that beautiful uh, painting for behind it over the mantel. American woolens. Lovely. Oh, that sweet bunny coming out of the little box there with the grasses. Well, let's go ahead. I think we'll go ahead and head up those stone lined stairs. <laughs>